What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBAsafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today, make sure to drop that like, bro. Before we get into it, man, I gotta say my giveaway winners. Shout out to you guys, bro. If you do follow me on Twitter, um, about 120 people have liked and retweeted my uh, comment. It was a giveaway for 100,000 MT, but I'm going to give 50k MT to two players. And here are the giveaway winners. Um, there they are Charlie Scott on Twitter. And I think his name is Kurjo or something. Kurt, Kurt, uh, Kurt Kujaro five. You are the winner. So Charlie Scott and Kujaro five, you guys both have 50k MT. Make sure to hit me up on Xbox or whatever. Those are the giveaway winners. Before we get into it, make sure to drop the like. Sub if you are new. Make sure to follow Twitter. And before we get into the video, let's run this ad. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. And yo, 120 likes on the video. That's it, bro. 120 likes on the video. Now, let's get into it. Top five snipe filters, or should I say top snipe filters right now. And uh, let's look over Ben Simmons' price before we do get into it, because I'm honestly kind of curious. Um, 615k, and he's not involved. I kind of want to get the card. I probably will. Um, We'll see how it goes, I guess. Um, Let's just get into it. So, obviously, man, this is... A snipe filter. This is the best snipe filter in the game if you have the patience. Galaxy Opal minimum buyout 500. And also, guys, what do you think about the token market update? Because honestly, it was sick. And like, I'm hyped. Um, insane, insane update. But yeah, Galaxy Opal, man. You need to have a minimum of 100k unless you somehow get a Galaxy Opal for under 100k, which is a W. But yeah, this snipe filter has high risk. Not honestly, it's high time, high reward, bro. Like, this could take you hours, but if you get one in an hour, it's such a W. Like, if you get Kareem, which he's selling for around... Wow, he dropped a lot. Actually, no, there's an hour 10 left. But if you get Kareem, you'll make about 400k. You get KD, about 300k. Vince Carter, 100k. MJ, 100k. So, if you do wait the whole hour and you get one, that's a W. But if you miss it, it sucks. It's probably one of the worst feelings of all time. So, yeah, Galaxy will filter... Now, I'm going to show you my best night filter in my opinion. This is the best night filter in NBA 2K20 period. I don't care what you say. I don't care, dude. It's the Amethyst filter. Why? Because, bro, players like Rudy Gobert and, like, old moments cards are mad bread. Oh, give me that. How did we miss that? Oh, all right. So, yeah. I'm telling you right now, this filter is so damn money. And I missed that, too. Um, pretty much anything that pops up is definitely a W. So make sure to literally hop on this night filter. If you want to invest in the new Aaron Baines, honestly, not a bad idea. He's actually really good. Really good stats. Kind of good player to have for a bunch of ballers. So his price will probably rise considering he's actually good. I might pick up a ton. But then again, if we do have a market crash, he will go down. But yeah, I'm with this, bro. Best night filter in the game. If you guys want to make MT, like you can make a thousand MT per minute. I've done it before. It's amazing, and that's why my MT is up there. This filter right here, man. Money, money, money. The other day, when the market was crashed, I made 15K in two minutes off this filter. No joke. I got a Rudy Gobert for 1K. I got Dennis Schroeder for 1K. Um, one sold for eight, one sold for five. And I sniped out a couple Ami Shacks all in one minute, and they all sold in like five minutes later. So this night filter is mad good. Obviously, bro, these night filters I'm showing you are going to be slow right now. Why? Because the market's not really crashed. There's not too much going on. Next night filter, man, diamond, whatever you want to do, man. Diamond filter is honestly decent. I feel like it is, I feel like it totally depends. Only problem with the diamond filter, it's like kind of really competitive. I have to say, that's, uh, honestly, I'm just going to pick them up and I missed it. Uh, but yeah, this night filter is honestly really good. Like, I like it, but I think Amethyst is better. Considering the fact, bro, Amethyst, I feel like once you get to the diamond tier, People, like, kind of value their cards more. Amethyst, bro, people just chuck them up. Because, like, Amethyst is, like, the lost tier now. So, if you guys don't know, like, pretty much tiers do, like, they, they kind of get outdated. So, like, in the beginning of the game, the rubies were fire. The sapphires were the ones that you tossed. And then over time, the rubies were tossed. The amethysts were tossed. 
And now we're almost getting to the time where diamonds are being tossed. So when diamonds are being tossed up for cheap, that's pretty much when you could just snipe. That's pretty much when the amethyst filter turns into the diamond filter. You'll see that probably in the next month or two. That's what's going to happen. But yeah, this filter is obviously really slow right now. It is Sunday. I guess not a lot of people are playing. But yeah, this night filter is good. Believe me, it's good. But also, man, this filter goes way back. I'm only saying this because, honestly, a lot of people, like, throw up heat checks for stupid cheap. And honestly, it's kind of crazy because they do have value still. Um, I don't know exactly what their base price is. I think it's like 1800 Like, no, heat check packs aren't relevant for a while. So, they're up in price. And since the token market update is here, if you do have a ton of cards to sell on your heat check or whatever, your collection cards... Like, for instance, like, I honestly want to kind of sell these cards. If you want to make a ton of MT, bro, it's literally just selling what you have in this collection. Like, I'm going to make a serious, a serious, like, insane MT making method video on this because all these players in the sets, bro, are that expensive. And it's honestly crazy if you really think about it. Like, these sets are going for so much money. And if you want to make a ton of MT, you simply just sell these cards. Like, going through this... I know this is a snipe builder video, but I just wanna I just wanna show you this real quick. So hold on, let me redeem this. Um, so Aaron Holiday gold, like alright. I guess the silvers are more rare. Justin Holiday 3k. Like these cards are going for all 3k. If you pop packs and stuff, bro, like 4k for a silver, 3k, whatever. This is crazy. Alright, let's get back into snipe filter. So next snipe filter that's been one of my favorites. Sniped out a lot on this one, actually. Moments power four pink diamond buyout. It is insane. And honestly, I kind of want this. I'm getting it. Oh my god, no. Alrighty. I'm taking L's in this video. Pretty much anything that pops up, man. You have a chance of getting Kawhi Leonard. Chance of getting Giannis on Tentacumbo. You have a chance of getting Zion, which I just missed. I mean, I it's really not a snipe, but I just want him. I love Zion. Um, yeah, but also, man, this week I'm thinking about. Uh, a March Madness possible. Possible March Madness promo. We didn't get one. And honestly, it reeks of a March Madness promo. We shall see. I hope it does come. But yeah, this filter contains Giannis, Zion, Aaron Gordon, and Kawhi. So definitely try this filter out. A ton of my subs have loved this filter. They're like, bro, this night filter is so goaded. And honestly, I only sniped one of it, and it was a Zion for 80k. I ended up selling for 130k. That was pretty much one of my only snipes on the filter. And honestly, I, it was first try refresh. Sniping is all luck, but yeah, I would definitely try out this filter Could take a little long, but I don't know man depends. We'll see Um, you know what while we're just chilling here. Let's pop a pack for you guys and you can get into the next night filter Let's see what we can get. Can we get a galaxy opal just an emeralds like dude these packs suck If you guys haven't realized prime packs honestly have the worst odds. I've never pulled anything in a prime pack I don't know. I guess it's just me. I don't know anymore Alrighty, so this night filter is interesting. Honestly, bro, pink diamond snipe filter. It's simple. You just kind of put your buyout to around 20,000 MT and just keep refreshing. Realistically, bro, the pop-up rate is going to be kind of high because pink diamonds are kind of losing their value to Galaxy Opals. So if you want, put your thing a little under David Thompson. He's always going to be the cheapest. Just keep refreshing with the minimum bid or the maximum bid or the minute. It doesn't matter. Whatever you think is cool. This filter is pretty good. Honestly, I don't really stay on this filter too much, but I know for a fact it's pretty good. Shout out to Young Sema, but I was watching his video on the Pink Diamond filter, and it was pretty good for him, so it might be pretty good for you. All I'm saying is that my favorite filter in the game is Amethyst. And one more filter for you guys before we do end it. Amethyst Bro 20. This filter has been good since day one. I still rock it all the time. I just like kicking around with the Amethyst Bro. And not only this, bro, these cards are really good to invest in. And investing in these cards, they always go up in value and they always go down. Just know when the market is crashed, these cards are really expensive. I mean, really cheap and they go up a ton. Like, you'll see if you pay attention to these prices right here on this video, you will see when the market does crash or new packs come out, they drop like crazy. And that's when you should definitely take advantage. I'm just letting you guys know. But yeah, that's really all I got for the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Shout out to those giveaway winners, Charlie Scott and Karajo4 or something like that. Karajo5, I don't know. Kurt, that's your name. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. Make sure to stay tuned for more content. More content. We got the locker code video coming. You guys haven't entered those locker codes. So yeah, that's really all I got for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. Have a good one, guys.